Federal Ministry of Health, in collaboration with its partners, has inaugurated 11 strategic health documents towards reversing infant and maternal mortality indices in the country and improving the rights of persons living with disability. Minister of Health said the documents would provide policy direction for all actors and stakeholders on reproductive, maternal, newborn, child and adolescent health service delivery. The documents we are about to launch today have been developed to address emerging issues, adopt evidence-based practices that can be implemented at scale to address sexual and reproductive challenges of adolescents and women, including persons living with disabilities in Nigeria. In line with our determination to further scale up our current interventions, we are gathered here today to launch these key documents to contribute immensely to the achievement of our set targets. These documents include one, the National Strategic Framework for the Elimination of Obstetric Fistula in Nigeria, 2019 to 2023, an orientation package for healthcare providers, FMOH 2018 ANC model. There's also the task shifting policy and task sharing policy of the federal government, December 2018, the task shifting and task sharing standard of practice, December 2018. The manual for training doctors, nurses, midwives on postpartum family planning and long-acting reversible contraceptive methods and training manual. Number four, manual for training community health extension workers on postpartum family planning, long-acting reversible contraceptive methods and training manual. And then, very importantly, the national policy on the sexual and reproductive health and rights of persons with disability with emphasis on women and girls. That, to me, is the icing on the cake. The acting country director of UN Population Fund, represented by Dr. Rabbi Sager, said some of the documents evolved around task shifting central to achieving universal access to sexual and reproductive health. This document being launched today links two specific areas I care deeply about. First, sexual and reproductive health, and second, the overarching principles of developing a strong health workforce. Some of the documents are around task shifting, and we all know that task shifting is central to achieving universal access to sexual and reproductive health, universal health coverage, and is also um, in line with the leave no one behind principle of the sustainable development goals of the United Nations. The Executive Director, Disability Rights Advocacy Center, who spoke on the vulnerability of women and girls with disabilities to sexual harassment and other vices, said the policy would provide, improve and protect their access to quality reproductive health services in Nigeria. Um, this was a long journey that started in 2015 and we are here today with um, the policy and looking forward to its implementation. We would like to appreciate all the development partners, USAID specifically and CBM um, UK specifically that supported every process that went into um, the production, the development and production of this policy. We're also very grateful to the um, officers in the Federal Ministry of Health who allowed themselves to be enriched by the experiences of women and girls with disabilities during the various consultations and meetings we had where um, we shared our experiences of how inaccessible our healthcare services are in the country. PA join others to congratulate the Federal Ministry of Health on that the able leadership of the father and grandfather of midwifery and sexual and reproductive health in Nigeria, Professor Isaac Adewoli.